What are you telling me? That after my explicit instructions to guard that tomb with your life, you have allowed the body to be snatched away? No one snatched the body away, sir. How would you know? You were asleep. We were not asleep, sir. Then how did the body leave the tomb? Gladius saw the dead man walk away. I have heard Gladius's report. I simply do not believe Gladius's report. Gladius is a man of his word. Dead people do not get up and walk out of tombs. The dead man's fanatical followers came and spirited his body away. And you did not stop them. You have disobeyed orders. We have followed our instructions to the letter, sir. My good friend, Pontius Pilate, your illustrious leader, promised me his three most reliable men for the critical task of guarding the tomb of this dangerous revolutionary. Am I to tell Pilate his three most reliable men have failed? We will report to Pilate what we have reported to you, if you so desire, sir. I do not so desire. You have been assigned to me, and to me, you will be responsible. Do you realize what will happen if what you have reported becomes public knowledge? People will believe it! I would hope so, sir. People will believe that this man is some sort of god! Well, he is different, I'll say that. It will cause havoc in the existing order! There will be chaos, riots, revolution! A dead man could do all that? This will cause a great deal of trouble for your Pontius Pilate. And I will make sure he knows who's responsible. Who is responsible, sir? You! Will be. For spreading your lie about this man, rising from the dead. It's no lie, sir. Of course it is. Now, I want each one of you to search your memories. For a moment. Take your time. And let's see if you can locate the truth of the matter. Still the way Gladius said, sir. That's what happened. Of course. And far be it from me to contest the word of a Roman soldier. But for the sake of discussion, let's consider this whole incident from another perspective. There's another perspective? Yes! I mean... What need is there for you to suffer the severities of army discipline and for the entire population to undergo the horrors of revolution? Cooler heads, why couldn't the four of us work this whole thing out? What do you mean, sir? When all this happened last night, it was very confusing, wasn't it? The light was blinding, sir. And despite your fine records of valor, We're probably a little bit... Uh... Disquieted, weren't you? I'll say it. We were plenty scared. Ah... Then it certainly would make sense, wouldn't it? That what Gladius thought he saw, and all that confusion, might not be what actually happened. You know... The light was blinding, and we were shaking all over. So how can we be so sure of what really happened? Right, right Gladius? Gladius? Is 
thought it over. Yes? And everything happened exactly as I have reported it. <sighs> Gladius, why are you throwing our lives away for something you could not have seen all that clearly? I saw it clearly enough. But you were looking into a blinding light. Which means there was a whole lot you couldn't see. And who knows what happened in those places you couldn't see. You do, gentlemen. We do? Gladius may have good eyesight. But he lacks vision. You two have vision. We were able to visualize what really happened last night. We are? And what really happened last night was that you simply fell asleep. We did? And when you awoke, the tomb was open and the body was gone. But we could be executed for sleeping on duty. You just leave that to me. I'll speak to Pilot about it. And he'll forget the whole thing. I'll be happy to forget the whole thing. Oh, but you won't be forgetting the whole thing. You'll be telling everyone! What really happened at the time? About the dead man walking away from the grave? No! I mean... I mean... That his followers stole the body... While you were asleep. You've got that now? Followers stole the body. While we were asleep. And to help those overtaxed memories of yours... I'm instructing my treasurer to give each of you a large sum of money on your way out. Money? Why money? Just a little memory aid to help you remember correctly. Remember what happened. That they stole the body away while we slept. Excellent. I won't accept the money, sir. Ever the honorable warrior, a gladius. I didn't fight my way through four wars to become a paid liar. Cassus, Volteus. I give you until day's end to convince your fellow soldier to come to his senses. If he does not by then, you are hereby ordered to bring him back here this evening to be placed into custody. Into... custody? Come on, Cassus. We have no choice. Gladius, we need to talk. Don't forget your money on the way out, boys. And Balteus, you take Gladius' share so we can have it when his memory clears up. Have you lost your mind? No, but I think it would be better for all of us if I had. Gladius, the man has given us a way out. We can walk away from this disaster. With a tiny little bonus for our trouble. We'll be walking into a disaster, not away from one. Says who? Says the chief priest. He'll have us all over Judea spreading his lies. We'll be famous. You want to be a famous liar?
It beats dying. I'm not so sure. You're not? I'm not so sure. Growing old in disgrace beats dying young with honor. Aren't you afraid of dying? Yes, I am. But I've seen so much of it, the novelty is worn yes, off. Yes, but what about us? Don't you care what happens to us? Decisions of honor a soldier has to make for himself, by himself. Well, the two of us have made our decisions by ourselves, and we vote to accept the money. You will find that you will have to live with your decision, as I will have to live with mine. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. You heard what the chief priest told us to do if you refuse his offer. I heard. I'd rather be a poor person who can trust in the Lord than try making sense of wickedness. We'll have to take you into custody. That may be easier said than done. The wicked try to trap with a net. Sometimes fall in the trap make a set. There are two of us, Gladius. You sure that's enough? I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. Gladius, why don't you just cooperate? I never cooperate with the enemy. I'd rather put my faith in God as a sun and shield that can fire up my spirit proudly. Consider us the enemy? If you choose to become it. I'd rather know that no good thing will he ever withhold from those who walk uprightly. You're not going to come peacefully. It never crossed my mind. So let the wicked gather and hoard. I am blessed with faith in the Lord. All right, Gladius. In the name of Jesus, do we arrest you for disobeying Pilate's lawful testament to the chief priest? And I refuse to be arrested. We'll have to take you by force. Force away. Baltius, do you think Gladius would attack a Roman soldier? Let me answer that for you. Yes. Uh-oh. It'll be worse for you if you resist arrest. They can only kill me once. You know, you could be killed resisting arrest. It's possible. Not likely. You would kill us for doing our duty? It's possible. No. Likely. I don't like the sound of that. This is getting ridiculous. Don't you two realize that everything has been turned upside down ever since that man rolled back the stone? So, what do you suggest we do? I'm going to give you a way out. You're going to give us a way out? You're going to go back and tell the chief priest I escaped. You mean, tell a lie? If you want to give it the ring of truth, I could arrange for the chief priest to discover two dead soldiers in his courtyard. I don't like the ring of that either. Gladius, if you become a deserter, you'll lose your citizenship. You'll become an outcast. I became an outcast the moment I refused the chief priest's money. Imagine, Gladius, the much-decorated outcast. So choose. Do you want to not bring me in, dead or alive? Come to think of it, what's one more lie to a professional prevaricator? I wonder how many more lies we'll need just to get by. Too many. Gentlemen, I salute you as my former comrades in arms. I now leave my army... My country, and my respectability. And what are you going to do? Disappear. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the town.